Hello everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75. Welcome to another Transformers Generation 1 Pretenders review. This being part 4, and now Submarauder. And Submarauder is such a cool looking Pretender shell. It is probably one of the best. Um, it just looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. That is just fantastic. He's supposed to be some weird shark monster. Um, uh, it's just brilliant. I love the legs. The legs are just great. It looks like it's straight out of one of those old B movies from the 50s. It just oozes class. I mean, shame on the back. We don't get no more paint apps, but we do get these molded in turbines and stuff like that. And he comes with a nice shield, a gun, and a sword, which is bent. <laughs> I don't know, is it? It's because it's this weird bloody rubber and it's probably been hot. Um, but other than that, oh yeah, he also comes with a detachable belt, but you don't need the belt to take the belt off. It's a bit weird. Um, he does come with a gun. Now, the thing about the guns is, I forgot to mention this on the previous ones, without the guns, um, it, sometimes it doesn't actually form the alt mode particularly well. So there we go. Right, we're going to take... I'll leave that in. I'll leave that one. Right, so let's crack him open. And there's his inner robot. Close that back up, put it to the background, and then we're left with this. And then we've just got to straighten out a few bits, uh, rotate them around. And there we go. This is Submarauder. Now you can see my one's a little bit worse for where he's got a little bit of paint chipping on his nose. Again, the AR's eyes ain't been painted or nothing. And his legs are a bit loose around there. And he's very spindly. He doesn't look as good as Bombers, but he's okay-ish. Probably the weakest of the first three pretenders, that, the Decepticon pretenders anyway, that came out. He's certainly better than bloody Landmine, I'll tell you that now. Um, but there we go, that is him in his robot mode. Um, again, not much to write home about. It just looks slightly out of proportion for me. Very spindly, massive head. But now we're going to transform it. Now, how do we do this? Uh, that's the front, obviously. So, I believe we're going to go around here like that. They're going to collapse in, I think. Um, it might be totally different. I can't remember too well. I'm going to rotate those around and fold them out. Um, yeah, that looks about right. And then we're going to get this. That sort of goes on here and stays that way. And this is his underwater submarine. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine on this one. What makes this a submarine, I'm not totally sure. But it is vaguely ship-esque. Um, you could have easily said this is a space fighter. And some people would have said, OK, yeah, that's true. And that's, again, where they just let themselves down on these, which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate because look at that shell. That shell is just fantastic. I'll put him there. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate, really. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say about him. A um, bit of a disappointment in the, sh the robot, but because of the shell, he's brilliant. That is a great pretender shell. Right, anyway, right, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I'll see you all next time in part five. Please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and you've got the notification bell. And of course, you can support my channel with the coffee link below. Right, um, I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.